Hey guys, it's Laura. If you've seen previous videos of mine, you probably know that I'm a huge fan of blue blocker glasses. I don't know about you, but I have found that ever since I've been working from home, I have been staring at screens more often than ever. And I have learned that for me personally, if I stare at a computer all day, my eyes are burning by the end of the day, and I generally get a pretty gnarly headache. I've also found that staring at screens at night tends to disrupt my sleep. Either I'll be wired and I can't fall asleep, or I'll wake up in the middle of the night. And I have tracked this with a sleep journal that I keep by my bed, so I have data. And you know what? There are some days where I really don't feel like putting contacts in. So I have decided to finally get a new pair of prescription glasses that have the blue blocker lenses as well. And I thought I would take you along that journey with me. I'm a big fan of Warby Parker, and while I'm not really going into any stores to try on glasses these days, I thought it would be the perfect opportunity to try their home try-on option. And I believe that my order has arrived in the mail, so let's go check it out. Here are my glasses to try on. I've got five pairs, and we're going to see which ones work best. You got five pairs? Yeah, you get five pairs for free. So if you don't know, my husband is the one holding the camera, and I have him here to, one, film me opening this, two, maybe manage the dogs that are running around right now, and three, give me his personal opinion on what he thinks of the glasses, because you know what, this is like, he's gonna have to look at this face. <laughs> Are you excited? Are you being a barnacle? Yes. Just shake it off. Can you go lay down? I'll get your opinion of these glasses later. She. Are you trying to give me a hint? I have one other pair of Warby Parker glasses, and I do remember the name of the frame, so I was able to pick out those in a different color because I just really like the frame and then I got some other ones so we're gonna start with <laughs> this is gonna be a long day okay we are gonna start with the Wilkie frames in Greystone so Alex you have to give me your honest opinion okay so I'm going to look at you, you're going to tell me what you think, and then I'm going to look at myself in the mirror. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you think? I think they look good. They look like they're kind of big for your head, like they're, they're really wide. I actually think they look really good. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm very curious to hear what your favorite pair is. You can also choose the width. <laughs> and these are a medium. I will probably get small when I make like the real purchase. The next pair are the Brady frames. These are in black matte eclipse. All right, moment of truth. What is this face that you make each time you put on <laughs> the glasses? I don't know. These seem big. I feel like they're they're like hipster glasses. Like if you're like if you work in a coffee shop, you wear those. And I don't drink coffee, so I don't think these are maybe for me. They also have like an element of like '50s librarian with the the pointy outside pieces. Yeah. I don't know if I really. They look big again. <laughs> Same feedback as last time. They just look big. I have a small face. I know you need to get like kid size glasses. All right, the next pair. Bucket, that is my hat, that is so rude. <laughs> These are the chase frames in Driftwood Fade. That is so fancy sounding. I don't know how I feel about where you, it's like that two-tone thing with glasses. I don't know how they look on me. I like the two-tone. Yeah? I just don't know if I like the shape of them, how it's got that pointy librarian look like I talked about last time, <laughs> where it's like, the outside edges are a lot bigger and pointier. Oh, it's weird. It's like clear there. Mm. I'm not used to that. They're not bad. 
I think I, I, I think I like the first ones best still. Yeah. Especially if they fit. Well, yeah, I think they're all going to fail the, the look down test. The next pair are the Hardy glasses in root beer. I like those the best. These are the frames that I have for my blue blockers. So, but it's a different color because I thought, well, I want to see how the different color looks, but I don't want to get the same color because I'll never be able to distinguish the two. So I call that like a tortoise shell style with like, I, th I think that's what they've been called before where it's dark and light mm -hmm. brown. I like root beer. <laughs> I, oh yeah, that works too. But I always like that style. I feel like it looks really good. Yeah, I, I like these. Um, I think it's between these and the first pair. I'm still, I guess I'm comparing everything to that first pair, aren't I? I feel like the size... <laughs> <laughs> this is not your moment. <laughs> I feel like the size of these frames and like how much space they take up on my face is just, it's just the right amount. I think those look really good. They, they fit your face well. They fit my face well. Mm. Thank you. Oh, oh. There's no wonder that you got those frames already. True. <laughs> and I am the kind of person who if I like a shirt, I will... <laughs> I'm definitely the kind of person that if I get a shirt that I really like, I will get it in like three other colors. Should I try on the next pair? Yes. Our final pair. These are not for you, although I would love to see how these look. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You're gonna make everybody <laughs> think that we're really bad dog parents. <laughs> do, you need, do you need time out? We're in her play zone and we're just not playing. Yeah. Anytime we come up here, it's generally to play or for me to work out. Okay. And the final pair. Godwin in Oak Barrel. So these are kind of that tortoise shell look. Wow, these feel even just like a little tighter here than the rest of them do. I think the frames are too thick. What do you think? Um, I don't like them as much as the last ones. Mm -hmm. Look down, so there's no glare. So yeah, I mean, they, they just look super wide. I don't know. Every, that's, that's my feedback on all of them, except the last one, which they- The second to last one? They, These they, are the last one. Well, the last one before this one. Ah. Sort of, they just, they look too wide. Now I want to compare the first and the fourth. Yeah, those look good. I like these a lot. Okay. <gasps> Bucket! Smarter dog is. Fuck it. You have never seen you have any interest in glasses oh before. <laughs> that's, that's disgusting. Fuck it, you were so bad. That's like that's really crazy. Where did you leave those? I think on the counter. I think she jumped up on the counter and grabbed them. And then here are the tortoise shell ones or the root beer ones. Yeah, I think I may go with the, the first pair. So what I'll do is I'll send all of these back and then I can go and place my order and get the prescription because I want my prescription and blue blocker lenses and I'll get them in the mail and all as well. With that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.